Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how to use Xbox Play Anywhere. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, what you can and what you can't do with it. Now basically, Xbox Play Anywhere is where you buy one copy of the game and you can use it on both the PC and the Xbox for the one price. So you only have to buy the one copy and you can use it on both platforms. Now, for example, if you were a PC gamer, Chances are you're going to use platforms like Steam. So let's use the game Cuphead, which has come out recently. If I was to buy Cuphead on Steam, on the PC here, and if I was to play it and get up to a certain level, then if I wanted to play it on the Xbox One S here, I would have to buy a complete new copy of Cuphead, and I would start at the very beginning, because they're two different systems. But when you do an Xbox Play Anywhere game, for example, let's choose Cuphead again, you only have to buy it once and then you can use it on both. So if I was to buy it on the PC and if I was to get onto a certain level, let's just pretend now, let's just call it level three, then what will happen is next time I log on to the Xbox One S, there will be the opportunity to download that game for free on the Xbox One S and also I will start at level three. I don't have to then go back to the beginning. So your game saves are saved up on the cloud and then whenever you log into your Microsoft account on either the PC or the Xbox, you will start playing from where you left off. So it is a very good feature to have. Now, when you first will come across this, it can be a little bit misleading because you're not 100% sure what games are Xbox Play Anywhere. For example, Forza Horizon 3 is an Xbox Play Anywhere game. So if I go onto the Xbox Play Anywhere website and if I move down, you will see that it has Forza Horizon 3. But yet, yeah, I cannot put this disc into my PC and play the game. It has to be a digital copy. This copy here, which is a disc copy, will only work on the Xbox One and it won't work anywhere else. It will only work on Xbox One, Xbox One S and Xbox One X consoles. If you want to get the PC version of it as well, you need to buy the digital version of the game. So for example, if I was to go up here to cdkeys.com, you can see what it looks like. If I wanted to buy Cuphead here, on this one, it doesn't just say Xbox, it says Xbox One and Windows 10. So let's say if you were to go into your local high street shop and buy a game, you can buy games like this, which just say Xbox One, but then you can also buy cards that will give you a code and they will have Xbox One and Windows 10 on them. So as of when this video was made, this is only possible to do on digital copies, so not when you get the disc. So make sure that if you want the one to work on both, then you're going to have to get the digital copy of the game and download it from either the Windows Store or the Xbox Store. Now, it doesn't matter which one you do. It doesn't matter. You can buy it on the PC, Windows Store, and then you can download it for free on the Xbox, and vice versa. You can buy it via the Xbox Store, and then you can download it for free on here. Now, in this video, I'm going to be buying Forza 7, and I'm going to be buying it from CD Keys because it's just a little bit cheaper than it is from the Xbox Store or the Windows Store. So let me just type in Forza 7. And I'm just going to be getting the standard edition. So if you have a look here now, it says it's $46.99. And up here it says Xbox One and Windows 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it onto my PC to begin with. So I'm going to buy it via cdkeys.com. And then I'm going to enter the code into my PC and then after I've downloaded it onto the PC, it's a massive game, it's about 99 gigabytes, so it's going to take a while. Then I'm going to go onto the Xbox One S here, and then when I connect this to the internet, you will see it will come up with ready to install, and then I can install it for free. Now, some questions that people have are, for example, now, if I was to go back to the Cuphead game, if you have a look here, there's two copies. One's a lot cheaper than the other. You've got $15.99 and $12.99. The $15.99 is the one for the Xbox Play Anywhere, so that's going to work on your Xbox One and also your PC. If you were to get this one here, this would only be for PC gamers, because if you have a look here, you can see this is purely working on the Steam platform. So if you have a game on Steam, even though Cuphead is an Xbox Play Anywhere game, if you buy it via this one here, which is on the Steam platform, you will not be able to play it on your Xbox One. 
So it isn't just the game that's Xbox Play Anywhere, it's the platform that you buy it on. So make sure if you're buying games off the internet, make sure you get the one that says Xbox One and Windows on it. Now you might be wondering if you can play them both at the same time. No, because it's linked to your actual Microsoft account. So for example, if I'm playing on the PC, then I can't play it on the Xbox because I'm already playing that game on the PC because it's linked to your actual Microsoft account. And in order to download this, you're going to have to have a Windows 10 machine that's running at least Windows 10 Anniversary. So you know the update that came out a while ago, the Windows 10 Anniversary update. And also your Xbox One is going to have to be up to date as well. So if you want an example of the games that are supported, remember this is a relatively new feature. So more and more games are coming out all the time. And at the moment, these are the ones that are supported. So I'm just going to slowly go down. Now, as of when you watch this video, this video was made in October 2017. If you're watching this a year from now, there's going to be a lot more titles there. But all you've got to do is go to Google and just type in Xbox Play Anywhere list, and then you'll find all the games that are on there. Now, remember, your PC has to be off a certain standard to be able to play the game. So I'm just using this laptop just as an example to show you just for the video. This laptop would be very limited to what it could play on here. Probably none of them. So this isn't working via the internet or anything. You are downloading the game onto the hard drive off your PC. So your PC has to have a good enough graphics card to be able to run the game properly. Now you might be wondering about cross-play multiplayer. So for example, if you were playing a game on the PC here, can you play against your friends on Xboxes in other parts of the world? And likewise, if you were playing on the Xbox here, can you play against PC gamers? Well, yes and no, it all depends on the developer of the game, whether they've allowed it to happen or not. So in some games you will be able to do it, and other games you won't. Also, do you have to use a controller when you're using the Xbox Play Anywhere? Well, currently, as of when the video was made, you can only use your controllers on the Xbox One, Xbox One S and Xbox One X, but when it comes to the PC, you can choose to use your Xbox One controller. So if you were using this one, you'd have to have the Windows 10 wireless adapter. Or if you've got the newer one with the Bluetooth built in, then you can just connect it up via Bluetooth. But you don't have to use your controller. So for example, if you want it to play on keys and mouse, you can do, again, if the game supports it. So on the PC, normally, even though it's an Xbox game, you will normally have the full range of controllers that you can do on most PC games. But unfortunately, on the Xbox One here, we still have to stick to the controllers. And when it comes to your trophies, achievements, etc., you're only going to get one lot of them, just the same as if you were just playing on the Xbox or just the PC. Just because you got them downloaded on two different devices, you will still only get the one lot of achievements. Right, I'm going to go over to my PC now and I'm going to download Forza 7 and then we're going to come back to here and we're going to then download it for free on the Xbox. Remember, it will work the other way around as well. If you prefer to buy Forza 7 via the Xbox account, first of all, then you can just go onto your PC afterwards and download it for free. But in this instance, I'm doing the PC first and then the Xbox afterwards. Now, when you're buying your Xbox Play Anywhere game, it doesn't actually have to be bought from Xbox or the Windows Store. You can go into a high street shop and buy the game from there. Or for example, here's cheaper, cdkeys.com. And what you'll normally find is you might get it for a few pound less. So if you have a look here, I've bought Forza Motorsport 7 and here it's 46.99. If I was to buy it via the Windows Store or Xbox, you're gonna be looking at 49.99. So it's three pounds saving and it's really easy to do. You just click on buy it now and then in my instance, I paid via PayPal and then they email you through to the same PayPal address, the, the link that you then click on, and then it will reveal the code for the game. So it's really straightforward. So I've already entered in the code on Forza Motorsport 7. So for this example, I'm just gonna show you what you would do if, for example, you were to buy Cuphead. Now with Cuphead here, this is the Xbox One and the PC one, and it's 15.99. Pretend now that we've just clicked on buy it now on Cuphead, and now they've emailed through to the email address the actual code. So now what we need to do is we need to go to the Windows Store. So I'm just gonna go down to the icon down at the bottom here, and I'm just gonna left click. And now you can either go to Games, and you can try and find your game, 
Yeah, so for example, it's here now. You can see it's a little bit more money if you were to buy it from the store, 16.74 as opposed to 15.99. But if you can't find it there, it's nice and simple. Just type it in up here. So for example, if I was to type in cup head up here, then you can see it will come up. And now you can just click on it there. And then if you have a look here, it gives you the option to buy it. But we don't want to buy it because we've already got the code. So if you have a look at the three little dots to the right hand side of it, just here, then we just left click on there. And what we're going to do is we're going to left click on redeem a code. Now I'm just going to lower down this just a little bit because it is going to come up with my email address. So now you click on redeem a code. And then if you have a little look here, and then you enter in the code into this box here and then you click next and it will just verify that it is the game you want. So for example, it will verify that it's Cuphead and then you will just have to accept the terms and conditions and that's it. You now own the game. Obviously, now you need to install it. So let me just show you what I'm going to do now on Forza. So I have already entered the code into Forza 7. So I'm just going to go up here now and just type in Forza. And what I did is I just got the standard one here. So it's this one here. And if you have a look here, it says install, install on Xbox One. So right now I just want to install it on my PC and then later on I'm going to install it on the Xbox One. So I'm just going to click on install and then it's going to tell me that it's 99 gigabytes. It tells me how much this space I have remaining, so I've got 849 gigabytes, so I've got plenty of space, and now I'm going to hit install. So now I'm just going to left click on that, and that's it. Now that will start to install. So you can see here acquiring license, and it's going to take quite a while because it's nearly 100 gigabytes. And now, after a very long download, it has finally installed itself and it's ready to play. OK, so we're back over by the Xbox One S now and I should be able to download Forza 7 for free because I've already paid and downloaded it on the Windows Store. So what I need to do is I need to go over to Games. Now, for the purpose of this video, I've just got my Xbox One S set to offline so it's not connected to the internet right now just to show you that it's not going to work until you connect to the internet. So if I was to go to My Games and Apps and then if I go down to Ready to Install, you can see it says to see other digital purchases, connect to Xbox Live. So nothing's going to be there until you connect to the internet because it needs to connect to the cloud to recognize that you've downloaded an Xbox Play Anywhere game on the other device. So let's just go over to the internet and connect it up. Right, okay, so it's taken a minute or two now and now it is fully connected back online. And now I need to go to My Games and Apps and I'm going to press A. And I'm going to go down to Ready to Install down on the left hand side. And now if we have a look here, you can see now that I've got Forza 7. So I'm just going to press A. And it says this may take a while to install. We will let you know when it's ready to use. So I'm going to go to install. And now if we were to go across and up to games, you can see now under Forza 7 it says installing. OK, so now Forza 7 is fully loaded onto the Xbox One S. I'm back on the PC now and I'm going to show you it working on here. And then I'm going to close it down here and then go on to the Xbox One S and you will see that it starts from where we left off here. So on the PC, there's different ways of getting into it. We can either go down the Windows Store down the bottom here and then we can go to these little dots up the right hand side and we can just click on that and we can go to My Library. This is also how you would do it if, for example, you download it onto the Xbox One S first and then you want it to find it on the PC. You would just go into your Windows Store and then you'll go to My Library and then what you will do is the ones that hasn't been downloaded, you will have a little download arrow up here, just like that. So if I go down to Games, you can see here, for example, Minecraft. So Minecraft I haven't got on this PC, but I have got available to me to download. But here we have Forza 7 here, or the other way of doing it is via the Xbox app. So if we go down to the Windows Home there, and we've got Xbox app here, left click on that. And what you can do is you can just go over to Games on the left hand side here, click on that, and then you can find Forza Motorsport 7. Right, so we go to Play here. Right, so I've already set up my character here, but now let's change it to something else to see how it syncs when we try it on the Xbox One S. So let's just change the colour of the driving suits. 
ways to personalize what you wear when you hit the track. Right, let's go to this. You'll unlock more driver gear as well. Let's go to this orange one here. Right, okay, so now we're on orange here. So now when we go to Xbox One S, it should have changed from blue to orange without me having to change it. Now what I'm going to do is I am actually going to quit this because sometimes I find if I'm in the middle of the game here and then I go onto the Xbox One S, it says failed to connect to the cloud. The syncing data is taking too long. Do you wish to use the last save? And I think it's because we haven't exited here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit here. Then when we go to the Xbox One S, it should just sync from the cloud and my driver should be in that same outfit there. So let's go to quit. Right, so we've quit this now and let's go to the Xbox One S. So now we're back on the Xbox One S. So let's start the game up and let's see if it's synced that data across. There you go, it says syncing data for Forza Motorsport 7. It just came up there for a split second. It says game in use. You're already playing this game on another device. Close that game to play it here. Well, I'm going to click on play here instead. And there you go. As you can see, the character there has the same suit on that it had when I was on the PC. So you can see that it does save the data to the cloud and then it brings it back from the cloud again on the Xbox One S. And now if I was to change the character again and go back to the PC, the same thing would happen again. It would sync the data and then you can start on the PC just where you left off on the Xbox One S. And just to clarify, to use Xbox Play anywhere, you don't have to have a gold subscription. And as well, when you're using your PC to play an Xbox game, so for example, if you were using Forza Horizon 3 on your PC, then you can do multiplayer online without any subscription. But when you're doing it on your Xbox, then you still do need to have that gold subscription to go online and play multiplayer against others. So as you can see, it's relatively straightforward when you get your head around it. So overall, it is a good thing to have. And if you've got a gaming PC as well as a console, then it's fantastic. And it also allows you as a PC gamer to have access to some of the Xbox games, which can only be a good thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.